Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nilesh Kumbhar and I welcome you all to your favorite channel My Research Support and today in this video I am going to talk about an important update from Turnitin that every student, researcher and academic professional should know. Recently, one of my students has shared an interesting case with me. He had written an entire research paper in his own words, no AI tools involved at all. But out of curiosity, he checked AI score and it showed 26% AI score that does mean even though the entire document has written by him but still the AI detector is showing 26% AI written text but still by considering higher rate of false positives or inaccuracies of this AI detectors generally less than 30% AI score is accepted by most of the universities and journals he submitted his research paper into a journal but surprisingly there also his research paper got rejected there were several reasons but this is one of those reasons where the editorial team has clearly mentioned about your document has considerable AI score and you must reduce it to zero and then this student has reached to me and I suggested him to use one humanizer and this humanizer worked perfectly well and he could reduce his AI score from 26% to 0% but here is the twist recently Turnitin has launched its new update let me show you that you can see this updated AI writing model to detect AI bypasser tools so Turnitin has clearly mentioned that we have enhanced our AI writing detection capabilities to detect likely use of leading AI bypasser tools means if you have generated the text by using AI tools like ChatGPT and if you have used any humanizer or any AI tool to bypass this AI detection then Turnitin can now detect that text as well so on one side I really appreciate this update of Turnitin because if you are generating the text by using AI tools like ChatGPT or any other and if you are humanizing that text and if you are trying to publish that text then this is not at all an ethical practice but on the other side there are many researchers or PhD scholars those write their research documents in their own words but their English is not to that level means they make use of AI tools to rewrite those content to make the text technically strong but in that case also if you are checking that text means rewritten text into this AI detectors then they will show some AI percentage maybe 30%, 35%, 40% etc. So in that case also they might need to reduce the AI score from those documents and in second case that we discussed in the starting of this video because of the inaccuracies of this AI detectors even human written text can show some percentage of AI score so in those cases I feel it is completely ethical practice to use these humanizers to reduce AI score so with simple demonstration in today's video we'll be discussing about the effectiveness of this Turnitin update so what exactly I will do I'll take three examples so I'll rewrite my own written text by using ChatGPT and then I'll be generating the text by using ChatGPT and in third example I'll be humanizing the ChatGPT generated text by using Using one AI humanizer or AI bypasser that I feel one of the best AI humanizing tool available in the market and that is also comparatively accurate and then we will discuss at what level this Turnitin's new update detect the AI score of the humanized text so here you can see this is file 1 SW means self written so I have written the entire text I have not taken any help of AI tools and now what we will do is I'll be using this prompt so I'll be intentionally using this chat gpt5 thinking feature few days ago i had prepared one video by using this chat gpt5 thinking feature and turnitin at that time wasn't able to detect the ai score from the text which is generated by this chat gpt5's thinking feature now we'll test the same feature once again to confirm whether this new update is capable to detect the text which is generated by using this feature so for demonstration purpose simply i'll be using this prompt generate an introduction for a research paper on az 31B magnesium alloy for biodegradable applications enter it may take one to two minutes and now you can see this this introduction is being generated now I'll simply copy this introduction into my another word file so copy paste now I'll name so let me remove this part okay now I'll rename this file as save as file to chat GPT generated chat GPT generated now what I will do is I will once again open this first file I mean the text which I have written in my own words simply what I will do is I will copy the entire text I'll rewrite that text by using chat GPT so I'll put this prompt rewrite and I'll simply paste my text enter so I simply put rewrite but most of the times we have to put very specific prompt like rewrite this text to improve the effectiveness and technicality without adding any new or additional words now again I'll copy 
this refresh text into my another word file so i'll just paste that text and i'll save this file as file number three refresh and save now we have total three files file one self written file two chat gpt generated and file three my own written text in refresh form so instead of three files we will be having four total four files so in fourth file what we will do is we'll simply open this chat gpt generated text and i'll copy the entire text and i will be using this humanizer still writer ai and i'll simply paste that chat gpt generated text here within this box so here you can see that if there are some special characters then you need to remove these characters you have to remove this character so you can just simply click on convert to asci along with that there are some markdown so you can ignore or you can remove markdown now you have to first understand one thing that no humanizing tool is 100 percent accurate but if you compare all the humanizers available in the market nowadays i'll definitely recommend this stealth writer ai because the output and overall quality is comparatively good but unfortunately this is the paid tool so if you need any help to get this stealth writer subscriptions and discounted cost you can refer to this video description and contact us so here you will find different models so here it is clearly mentioned that for base results use 4.6 models and level 7 to 10 okay so what i will do is I will be selecting this Ghost 4.6 Pro. So either of these two models are recommended. So I will be selecting this and I will be selecting level 8. And then I need to simply click on humanize. And the entire text is now humanized. So you will find the AI detector embedded within this platform as well within the stealth writer and it is showing 100% human written text but it is highly recommended to check this text in Turnitin as most of the universities and journals do only use Turnitin so simply I will copy this entire text from here and I will paste that into my word file and I will save this file as file number 4 humanized by stealth writer humanized and save now we have total 4 files now I will submit all these files into Turnitin so I will take all these options most importantly no repository I have to click on submit and then I have to name this file I will name this as file 1 under submission title self written then choose from computer first file upload confirm submission and go to assignment box so similarly let me upload all remaining files So as you can see this all these files have now uploaded so let me start with file number one which is self written text so the similarity is showing nine percent let me check about the ai score for this document so you can see this ai score is zero percent now let's discuss second file which is chat gpt generated so i have generated a piece of text by using this chat gpt so similarity is zero percent and if you observe the ai score for this document then it is 57 percent this is again the most important part of this because i have generated this text by using chat gpt 5's thinking features so previously in previous video turnitin was not able to detect the ai score from that text however now with this update even though if you are generating the text by using chat gpt 5's thinking feature then also Turnitin can detect that text not fully but still 57% detected as AI you can see this this text is highlighted that does mean it is showing AI written text now let's move towards third file where I have rephrased my own written text so similarity is showing 1% so paraphrasing or rephrasing will definitely reduce the similarity percentage and here even though i have simply used rewrite and i have pasted my text still the ai percentage is showing zero percent so most of the times as per my experience if you are rewriting your own text then either you may get very low ai score or zero ai score but still there are some cases where you may get 20 30 or 40 percent ai score so it is highly recommended to check ai score of your document if you are rewriting your own text now let's move towards final and the most interesting file which is humanized by stealth writer so similarity is zero percent so there won't be any change in this similarity however if you observe the ai score then ai score is also zero percent and here zero percent ai generated only and zero percent ai generated text 
that was AI paraphrase. Means Turnitin is not showing that this text is humanized or this text is paraphrased. Not only with this file, but I have just performed the same experiment with multiple files, and based on that, I can say that Stealth Writer is still strong enough to humanize the text, which can't be detected with this Turnitin's new update. But in future, obviously, Turnitin will again update its tool but parallelly the stealth writer will also upgrade its capabilities and models so be very careful if you are at all taking help of any ai tools in your research so before submitting research papers into journals or your PhD thesis or dissertation into universities you must check ai score of your documents most preferably by using turn it in so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so if you have any doubts you can write us through comments we'll definitely try to answer all these comments so i'll see in my next video bye bye